we're going to talk about fungal hyphae. And the first one I want to show you is uh, this one with sort of narrow angle branching and septa within the hyphae, shown within the green circle. This kind of morphology in the lung usually represents aspergillus, but not always. There are rare exceptions where it turns out to be fusarium or pseudaliscaria slash skedosporium and some other fungi. But most, most, most cases like this turn out to be aspergillus in the lung. Usually it's a good idea putting a note in the comment saying to defer to cultures or, or PCR for identification in fungal hyphae. Now, the other kind you will see less common is where you don't have that kind of parallel sides. Instead, it's kind of broader, more irregular hyphae. Septa are rare or completely absent. And this group includes mucor, absidia, and rhizopus. Mucor, absidia, and rhizopus. And uh, even here, you need to sort of defer to cultures for the final answer. But at least you can guide your clinicians in one.